To everyone that calls me short, know that being short is better than being dead. I had cancer. I like who I am. I'm very lucky to be living. And everyone who thinks they're huge, that's not the greatest thing in the world. You don't have to be tall to win. I could be tall, but God slowed down my growth to become the best person I can become. Let that sink in before you call someone short. That was the Instagram message from 10-year-old cancer survivor Dominic Zafino to his classmates, who had teased him relentlessly about his height. What came next was beyond anyone's expectations. It got way bigger than I ever thought it would. After his Instagram post against bullying went viral, Dami, as he is affectionately referred to, is now doing what he feels he was put on this earth to do, help others. As his parents, Gemma and Dominic, remember, it wasn't all that long ago when he was the one who needed the help. I guess it was a Sunday, we were out back outside and Dami was walking through the yard with my husband and he looked up at my husband and said, Daddy, I can't walk, can you carry me? And Dom said, what do you mean you can't walk? We're right there, we're going into the house. He goes, my legs hurt, I can't walk. And at that moment, I knew something was wrong. After taking him to get his blood checked, they rushed him to the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, where they immediately met with the doctor. I'll never forget our doctor's face. He sat down and he looked at us and he said, Dom, he has cancer. And Dom and I both kind of um, stared at him for a minute and we're like, cancer? <laughs> but um, he sat there and he sat down and he told us, you know, he has leukemia. He's gonna go through a lot. He's gonna have to go through three and a half years of chemo. In Dami's case, his leukemia also was in his spine. Um, so he required spinal taps with chemo infused into his spine as well. And at that point, they'd given him a 60% survival, five-year survival rate. So we started, that was Thursday, and he started chemo the next day. As he soldiered through chemotherapy, Dominic befriended many children in his situation. But one child stood out. His name was Eli. Eli and Dominic had the same diagnosis. But while Dominic was winning his battle, Eli was about to lose his. Eli relapsed and Eli unfortunately passed away. And it was at that point in time that Dami really understood. I mean, I, when I had to tell him that Eli passed away, he was four and a half years old and he asked me, Mommy, am I going to die too? So at that point in time, he knew the severity of it. I'm very fortunate for everything. I mean, I, there was a big chance that I wouldn't be sitting here and doing this right now. Um, and I'm really glad that I can be. As Dominic finished his treatments, he was still feeling the effects of chemotherapy. His growth was stunted, and he was noticeably smaller than other children his age. Soon, the teasing began. Then, it turned to bullying. When I would get home, he would, be, he would stay over my in-laws, which would be you know, a couple doors away. And I would call and tell them, you know, I'm home, just come on home. So a lot of times, he would, he would come up to me and say, hey, you know, Dad, you know, am I like short? You know, am I going to grow? And you know, everyone's starting to make fun of me at school. And I would, you know, I would just try to, hey, listen, ignore what they have to say. You're not going to be sure forever. You're going to grow. I said, one day, you're going to wind up waking up and your pants are going to be six inches shorter than the night before. <laughs> so he's like, okay. So every once in a while, <laughs> <laughs> so every once in a while, he would he would come up to me and ask me the same question, Dad, am I short? I'm like, no, Dominic, I think you're fine. You know, you'll you'll be fine. You're going to grow. You're going to grow. It all started from that. So we didn't think it was that big of a deal. If they're gonna love you, they're gonna love you for who you are, and it doesn't matter if you're tall, short, whatever, you're gonna be fine. It started like more at the end of fourth grade, but and once we got into fifth grade, I, was, I became a safety that year, and it was a little bit in my grade, but it was more like in other grades. I mean, the little kids, they'd come over to me while I'm safetying, and they'd say, you're so sure, why are you a safety? And, and that just got me so mad. Like every day just was on and on and on. After getting fed up with remarks about his height, Dominic took to social media to share his thoughts. What happened next would catch the eyes of people all over the country. So the one night when he decided to finally really speak up about it, I guess he had a particularly hard day at school that day. He had come home and he was sitting here and he was upset and I asked him what was the matter and he said nothing, he didn't want to talk about it. He came up to me and he said, here, read this. And he showed me what he wanted to post on Instagram. It was really a thing where I wanted to tell people about it. A couple of the people 
that were saying I was short, follow me on Instagram. So I did post that and I was hoping that maybe that would get to him. The next morning Questlove reposted <laughs> his, his Instagram post. <laughs> Dami woke up in the morning and couldn't believe what was going on because he went from a hundred and some friends yeah. to... Yeah, a thousand, <laughs> to, like just you know, overnight. Over, <laughs> overnight, he's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> With Questlove on his side, celebrities from across the country began supporting Dominic. He would meet with members of the Philadelphia Union and the Philadelphia Eagles. How are we doing, man? What's up, buddy? Cody. See you, bro. Nice to meet you. Thanks so much for coming. This courageous act by Dominic had given him a platform, and soon children from all over the country were reaching out to him about their experiences facing bullies in school. His Instagram began to blow up with kids from all over the country thanking him. They would direct message me on Instagram and they would ask for advice and I would give them advice and they'd comment back the next day or something and they'd say, you helped me out today, thank you. And it was just a really good feeling that it could be helping them. The one message was, you know, thank you for saving my life, was, was one of the ones that really stick with me because you don't know what this other person on the other side had intentions of doing. And I guess just to read what he had to say and for her to post, you saved my life is a big thing. It's a really good feeling. I'm happy to see that I could help someone because there are a lot of kids in this world that are committing suicide because they don't know what to do. And they're not realizing that you can do something about it. And stories like that were really horrible. So. I'm happy that it could help those people. One of those tragedies happened in Everett, Washington to a 12-year-old girl. Some prayers with the family of Amber Cadell. She ended her life because she was being teased and bullied. No kid should feel that death is the answer. Please help me continue to spread my message that kids that are being bullied have a voice and it can be heard. Amber was a middle school cheerleader who was called names, harassed, and even spat upon. When she couldn't handle it anymore, she went home and hanged herself. This story and others made Dominic feel he could be the voice of the victim. He found a teammate in his fight, Denver Broncos kicker and Temple University alumnus Brandon McManus. His charity, AntiBullySquad.org, raises awareness of bullying and fosters an environment of respect. The two joined up at an event in Hatfield, Pennsylvania to combat bullying. I did a function out in Denver, Colorado, and it really touched home when I saw the impact it had on a, a little boy and he's getting bullied based off uh, his disabilities, and it, it really struck home with me, and I knew I had to help any way I could and, and raise awareness for uh, this troubling cause. Broncos gave you an autographed oh, ball from the whole team. Whoa. For you, my man. What do you say? Thank you. You're welcome. Don't throw that around the yard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I reached out to Dominic Zafino. He's a little boy in this uh, area who I, who I saw an article about was getting bullied because he was short. Uh, he put up an Instagram post that went viral, you know, basically standing up to his bullies and saying, I'm short because I had cancer. I'd rather be short than I am dead. So just the, the maturity he has already at, a, at 10 years old is unbelievable. Dominic attended many events to promote the awareness of bullying but soon realized that his greatest impact might be with those same classmates who had bullied him. When his school counselor invited him to join in her lesson to students, Dominic jumped at the chance. I invited Dominic to join me to be part of some of my um, introductory lessons this year. Um, and I invited him to join me to kind of tell his story a little bit and also to promote what I do with kids to try to increase their empathy in trying to see themselves through other people's lens to put themselves in somebody else's shoes. With bullying, kids feel like it's just them facing it. And you can't, like, if you tell someone, is it gonna make it worse or is it gonna do something? Because with me, with all the older kids, I didn't want to tell like a teacher because I didn't know if it would be a good idea. So I didn't really do anything about it at school. It was nice to watch their response to him and saying, this is the experience that happened to me last year and I didn't tell anybody about it. And this is what I would like you to do differently. They were very glued to his words. He's really an inspirational student. He's always had a very positive attitude, and these kids, like many others, like Dominic, who 
have come to school with very, very serious health issues kind of have a unique lens on life. Kids like this are, are very courageous and very determined and they know from their early childhood experience that they're just fighting to live and be a kid. Dominic is not your average kid and that might be why he's been so successful at winning every battle he's faced in life and his future is sure to follow along that path. Dami survived his cancer diagnosis for a reason. He went through a lot to get to where he is today. He's such an amazing little boy. man because of what he's been through. I mean, he's got such an appreciation for life and he's had to work for the life that he has. And I think that's why he um, loves what he, he, who he is right now. I believe that everything happens for a reason in the a reason in this world and God put me down on this earth to do something very special.